We're going to work on drawing people. And we're going to move beyond this stick person. And since this is art as imitation, we want to make people look more like people and not like little skinny sick people. So some proportion things to keep in mind that the when you reach your adult height, you will be seven to eight head lengths tall. So that means if you're wondering if the person is the right proportions, you check the length of the head and then go on to three, four, five, six, seven. This is also seven. It should be somewhere between seven and eight head lengths tall, the person that you draw. So you can check that. Other things, shoulders. They are a head width wide on either side. And then the human body is about half legs, half upper body. So at that point, the top of your thigh, if you check, okay, from the toe to the top of the thigh, should equal from that same point up to the shoulder. So check that. I will leave a photograph of this up for you to see. The other one is length of arms. And people tend to draw arms with the fingertips ending right here at your waist. That's actually where your elbow is. If you want to check that, if you bring your elbow in to your side, your elbow lands where your waist is. And that means you got another half of an arm here from your elbow to your fingertips. So from shoulder to elbow equals shoulder to waist. From elbow to fingertips equals waist to upper thigh for both men and women. So keep these proportions in mind. Now if you're still stuck in stick figure land, let me show you a quick way to possibly use a more advanced stick figure. So I start out by drawing a head, which is kind of this egg shape. And then they go, OK, we're going to have a neck. But then I want to draw shoulders in. So I don't want the no shoulder person anymore. So I put shoulders in. And then I go, OK, and then the backbone. And then the waist is going to be right here. And I'll put the hips there. Then I'm going to draw arm from the elbow, shoulder to elbow equals shoulder to waist, and out there, the other half of the hand. Let's have this arm up here. You know, and I can always check things. Are they the same? And then legs. So I know that from here to here is going to equal the same distance to the bottom of the feet. So the feet are going to be down there. And I just kind of roughly, and I don't put the legs way out here, but I roughly map in, OK, to the knee. Let's make another one to the knee and a foot and a foot. And then I have a little skeleton person that is close to correct proportion. Then I can come in here and I'm going to do this kind of quickly, but I can draw in. they're doing with their hand. They're reaching up to catch something. And I then give the stick figure some thickness to it. And I get closer to something that is in correct proportion and looks more human than that. So try moving beyond stick figures. Okay, go ahead and try drawing a person from your memory.